Hello, it's John Burford with Chart of the Week for Monday the, no, Tuesday, Tuesday the 30th of August. And I will cover today the FTSE 100 index. Um, I know a lot of uh, investors and traders do follow it. It's been extremely choppy, um, I must say, for many months, in fact. But um, let's go back to where I covered it last time. That was in June. Uh, that was on the 13th of June, where um, we were trading here. It was coming off this high here. My forecast was for it to hit this lower tram line that I had drawn. That's a long standing tram line. There's the upper tram line joining the highs. This one joins the major lows from before. And uh, that was my target. And in fact, um, it hit it on the nail, 7100. And in fact, it exceeded it, which is typical of fast moving markets. This is a very fast moving market here. And so targets are usually overshot. Um, so you can use that actually um, in your short term trading if you are uh, such a person. So anyway, we hit the seven thousand level here right on the tram line um, and it became very choppy so that was a signal to me that uh, it wasn't going to immediately plunge and in fact uh, it didn't <laughs> um, the because the FTSE 100 index is uh, has a lot of energy shares uh, commodity shares and so on these were in full spate um, in June and July and the index managed to rally up to here. Now that is on the meeting of this uh, trend line of of that high, that high, that high. Um, that was hit on the 18th of August. It was not a new high, didn't exceed that high or that high or that high or even the 2018 high way back here at 7900. So all of these rallies are bear market rallies um, so far. Only a move above 7900 uh, would change that picture. So we must still consider the market in a bear trend because we've got a series of lower highs. That is the, one of the definitions of a bear market. So from this 18th of August high um, it's moved down here. It's rallied a little bit. It's rallying up here this morning on Tuesday. Uh, unless it can get above this level here, then I believe it's headed lower. This will be my next target here around the 7200 uh, area. And breaking that, I believe, will be the kickoff to my wave three of three. Now, of course, uh, the macro picture is extremely bearish. Uh, you cannot uh, uh, listen to the radio, read a newspaper or go online or do any of those things without noticing the extreme panic there is in the um, in in society because of the uh, huge energy price jumps we've seen and the panic surrounding the looming energy bills that businesses and individuals re will receive in October. Now, the government is going to do something. I'm sure they'll do something um, fairly ineffective because the scale of the problem is just too high. Um, so um, I do not believe um, that sentiment will uh, rapidly improve from current levels, but we will see bear market rallies uh, in fact, we've seen them already. This is a huge one here. Uh, this is the latest one. Uh, so uh, trading on the news is not usually a very fruitful exercise. Uh, my advice, if you're trading the FTSE, is to only sell rallies. And if you are of, of uh, like mind, uh, buy dips. Here, by the way, was a really nice place to uh, go long because it met that high, that high, that is a level of support. That was resistance. It moved above it. Now it's support. So 
that's that's for very short term traders but for investors i would be looking for a breakdown in the index